Sneeko B here with a let's play of Odin Sphere Life Sphere. Yes! <laughs> yes! This might come as a surprise, or maybe not a surprise at all, given the most recent video essay I put together. And yeah, it just, it felt like the, uh-oh. Ah, oh, crap, I should've noticed I was gonna have to let it sit here for too long. Shit, sorry, sorry. But yes, it just felt like the right time. And it had absolutely nothing to do with the fact that I, oh, oh my god, even on this menu! It had absolutely nothing to do with the fact that I spent a holy boatload of time, uh, writing and, uh, uh, having Sai edit, uh, a 13 Sentinels and why it's an amazing, brilliant game video. And I've always been interested in this game, honestly. I've always had a desire to check out this game, but I just never did. Like, this game is originally a PS2 game that came out back in the early 2000s and ended up getting, uh, remade for the, uh, PlayStation 4. And it's dubbed, I, I think I say is Lythresia. It's, uh, I think it's Norse, right? I don't really know anything about the specific stories of this game, other than I think people said that this is sort of like, kind of like a precursor to what they end up doing in 13 Sentinels, where a lot of storylines kind of like, sort of intersect with each other. Like, because I, you do play as different characters, that I do know. But I've always had a desire to check it out, because it always looked really cool. And honestly, it also has some of the best fucking figures on the market. I shit you not. Look at these. Look at these freaky figures they have for Odin Sphere. It's insane. Which is both a good and a bad thing, because if I end up really liking this game, then it's I'm probably going to want to buy them, which is going to hurt my wallet and also my living area space. But goddamn, do I see... I, whenever I see them release a new, like, Odin Sphere figure, I'm just like... Oh, it's just like, God, this, this shit looks amazing. Playing this game might be a mistake. <laughs> but I'm on a bit of a vanillaware high after that, uh, after the researching that video and really sort of reliving why I love 13 Central so much that I feel like this is probably the best time for me to finally check out this game. So, uh, Mars saying I'm digging the music here. I assume this is Satoshi Sakamoto as well. I think he did, he's done like most of vanillaware stuff. And no doubt this game is going to be gorgeous. I do know that this game is more of like an action battle system as opposed to what like 13 Sentinels was, which was like a like an RTS tower defense system. So I'll be curious to see uh, how that controls and feels and also just what the story is going to be like for this game, you know? Will it be as like impactful as what like 13 Sentinels was? I mean, it's definitely going to be more of like the the normal Vanillaware's like setting, right? Focusing mostly on like, I think like Norse mythology and North, Norse fantasy, which is pretty cool. Uh, I'm actually curious, what is classic mode? Does this actually turn into the old PS2 version or something? Oh shit, I think it is. That looks like, that looks suddenly very low res there. Maybe. Oh, I, I think it is? Oh, yes, it's 2007. It is. This is the original version. That's actually really cool. Oh, the music's different, too. At least on the title screen. Pretty cool. Now, I think I have, I'll stick with the, the basic mode, thank you, but... Or the, the new, improved version. Because apparently, I think there are quite a few bells and whistles uh, for this, uh, this version of the game, specifically, that actually makes it uh, even better. So, not just improved visuals and maybe a remix soundtrack? I, I'm not sure. All right, let's... Uh, have a look-see here. Select the language of the character's voices. It's going to be changed in the pause menu through the options. I'm assuming, again, going based off just how 13 Sentinel sounded, I assume the English dub sounds amazing. I mean, I'm sure the Japanese does too, but I'll stick with English. Set to English. All right. <gasps> Kitty! Hold down. Hold the Socrates cat. Oh my God. All right, well, this is already the best game ever made. I don't think I need to see anything else. I think I, I, I can leave. This is it. This, is it. <laughs> this game's already, what the fuck? I should've wrote my essay, video essay on this game. All right, this is already a hundred times better than stupid old 30 Sentinels. I could never pet Mr. Kitty in that in that game anyway. I mean, granted he was, uh, he was also an obnoxious, uh, loudmouth cat that insulted me all the time, voiced by Ben Diskin, but eh, whatever, you know. Here, sit in the chair. Oh my guy sit in the chair and I got the kitty! You wanna vote this, view the story archive? This is, might be the greatest menu I've ever seen in my life. Whoa! Oh, this act wow! Oh, this is I think I see how this is going here. There must be like five characters, right? Oh yes, this seems familiar. I think I understand how this is set up. May have seen this as another another game! <laughs> Alright. 
I'm digging it. This is actually a real. This is a really cute main menu. I wonder who this little girl is. She's just like an historian or something. Get on stand. I think I've seen actually a figure of this girl too, for Odin Spear or a sphere. Uh oh, that's cute. If I hold up, she like puts her finger in her mouth. She's thinking. I don't think I can do anything though. Oh, if I just look up, she does that. Oh, then she crouches down. Well, look how cute this is. I think she's just like the historian storyteller or something. Because I'm literally reading stories. Why don't I just sit in the chair by without the cat? Oh, nothing. Okay. So if I have the cat, I can view story events I've already seen. I see. <laughs> Holy shit, that's a big old book. Read. Do you want to read Valkyrie? Can I take out my cat and the... Oh, the cat just sits by my feet. That's cute. The Valkyrie. Sure. That's a really cute fucking main menu. I'm not going to lie. The soul shines proudly after falling in battle. The birds have a belief. This is the only method of earning an immortal soul. Cool. Valkyrie Prelude Act 1. Storming, storming Battlefields? Is that what I said? The Valkyries! It's funny, I just got playing got play God War Ragnarok too, so I'm already kind of acquainted to with uh, some of this Norse mythology. Griselda! <coughs> Gwendolyn. It's so quiet now. The sound of battle seems so far away. It seems. I cannot follow my king into the final battle. No, don't give up. Gwendolyn, please take this. I have no use for it now. This spear has slain many foes, making a mountain of corpses. The king, father, will undoubtedly praise my actions. I'm sure he will. Oh, is that fine? Do I see tears in your eyes? You're too kind, sister. Please, do not cry. Your older sister will leave the world as a great warrior. It is so dark here. Gwendolyn, I can't see you. Zelda, I won't let you be alone for long. Oh, it totally is. I shall be by your side soon enough. That's definitely Karen Strassman. I haven't heard her in a... I feel like anything's just like fucking zero time dilemma. Been a while. Damn, cool designs. We have lost this battle. There are simply too many enemies. Ah! Ha -ha! <laughs> Holy shit, look at that guy. Her thing. So that is the Shadow Knight. Rumor has it he has made a deal with Halia to acquire such strength. What power? I will face him. Princess? You must not! Turns out he's just an anime boy. Kill me now. How long do you intend to keep me pinned down? Go on, run away. This battle is over. Any more deaths will just be a waste. Kokichi? Oh, I'm glad to see you're safe. I had feared you were. I think I might have been Derek Stephen Prince. I cannot go back. Please, wait. But. What good are troops that have lost their leader? I.e. Vexen, Ko Kokichi, and Ashida. 
Prelude to Act 2, Storing Battlefields. We root view character controls to advance to the stages. Left and right to move. Yeah, so like what I remember from seeing from this game is that the, the gameplay seems very similar, I think, to like what uh, D Dustin Elysian Tale was, which is probably more that that game was based off of this game, because I'm pretty sure this game came out well before Dustin Elysian Tale. Um, and I have played that game. That game is fun. Okay, so it's actually, oh, that's cool. It's a little glide. I like Gwendolyn's design. Holy crap, the color palette. It's so pretty. Okay, that's a shield. Uh, that's a back dash. I don't know where the attack button is. Oh, oh, there we go. Wait, how did I, how did I do the, oh, I, oh, holding it is a shield. Tapping it is combos. Okay, cool. Let's see what the, oh, 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 God. Checking the pause menu here. Difficulty is normal. You cannot change the difficulty during the tutorial. Okay, I was like, should I? Up it or, or not? Okay, I'm gonna turn the music down. Music down a little bit. It's a little loud. Oh, that's cool. You can choose the color of the message boxes. That's nice. Okay, X to jump and X again to double jump. From heights and move forth. Ah. Swear attack. Attack it. the treasure just to open it. Ugh. Pass to the floor with down X. Okay. Do you continue sex by pressing square repeatedly? Uh, 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 uh. Fuck that guy up. And they have the enemy guard up, slide, okay. Cool. Hold square to guard. To block enemy attacks coming from the front. R1 to evade, you'll be not be able to be hit by attacks while evading. Uh, hold down square to a powerful charge attack. Holy shit. <laughs> Dash attack. Oh, okay. Whoa. That's cool. Rising attack. Rising upper. During a jump to do a downward slam. Ugh. Glide. Ooh, there's a lot of variety here. Uh, uh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, this is Tor for Gwendolyn. Battle stage! Uh, luminous purple energy called Phozons appear when you defeat an enemy. You automatically gather Phozons when you're near them, but you can also quickly absorb them by holding R1. Okay, oh god. Ugh, get out of my way. Ugh, ugh. Oh god. Okay, so. Uh oh. There's a vanillaware looking ass vanillaware game, isn't it, boys? Go! Cool. I got lots of bonus things. Hey, and I got a rank. Okay, just like, again, like 30 Sentinels there. Completion reward. I got a seed and money. I read on the me memo. I obtained my first text. Yeah! <laughs> I obtained my first text message. Uh, an entry's been added to the text archive. What are Fozons? Have you seen most of light that appear from the bodies of the fallen? <laughs> Wait, fucking Xenoblade 3 again? Those marks are known as Phozons, lights to hold the power of life. Phozons arise from the deaths of living beings and return to the earth to foster new life. Man and beast are given life from this earth, and plants bud and grow fruit. Phozons are also called magic elements and are indispensable sources of magic for sorcerers. However, in order to collect Phozons, one must steal the life force of the dead, originally meant to return to the earth. You must never forget the weight of this act. Never! Cool. A mulberry seed! How do I... Oh, oh, okay, I just crouched down. Seeds and Phozons. You can acquire the experience necessary for leveling up at a few enemies, but you can gain even more experience by eating foods such as mulberry. These foods can be obtained by nurturing seeds, but you will need purple Phozon to do so. But I got that! Let's try to run a freeze of the Phozon and the mulberry seed you just obtained. Triangle. And select mulberry seed. 
Okay, plant. Uh, the plant seed will grow and bear fruit as it absorbs phosons. Hold R1 and square to give phosons the seed. Keep it on. Oh, there it goes. See, it's grown and born fruit. Eating fruit yields XP and level gains. Uh, uh. Okay. Bulberry. Neat. That's interesting. Proactively harvest and eat fruit whenever you obtain seeds and phosons because your HP and other various stats increase when you level up. Let's do a tutorial for seeds and phosons. Let's see, can I, uh, am I still in the tutorial mode then? Can I? Okay. See you to the next stage. Oh, wait. My, oh, up and X. Okay. Oh, here we go. Uh, recommend to those who want to play with ease and run rampant. Moderate difficulty that play, all kind of players can enjoy. High difficulty that tests your skills and knowledge. Requires an unbreakable will. You know what? Let's give it a try. Let's just give it a try. If I get my ass completely beat, I can always change it, I, I guess. Demon Lords! Gwendolyn, you've returned. Holy shit, look at this cool guy! I have an announcement, your majesty. Regarding the invasion, our troops have been lost. The foes had more reinforcements than we had anticipated. We were forced to enter a battle of attrition. The Valkyries suffered many casualties, including Griselda, our commander. I know of Griselda's fate. Griselda fought bravely for you to the very end. She entrusted me with a spear in her final moments. She was the most gallant and noble of all my warriors. That spear is a special weapon known as a cipher. It collects spirits that haunt battlefields and uses their power to smite enemies. Henceforth, you shall wield the spear as you please. <coughs> we shall launch another assault on the enemy. I shall personally take part in this battle. Send the troops when you're prepared. Father! Is that all you have to say about Griselda? Words will not bring your sister back. Tis no time for sentimentality. Dang, he walking. That boy walking. The entry has been added to the text archive at the start of the Cauldron War. Uh, the source of the conflict between our Grand Kingdom of Ragnavat... Ragnanval and Ringford lies in the past. Our victory over the mighty nation of Valentine was assured, but costly. Low on men and supplies, we had no choice but to withdraw. Those vile fairies seized their chance to invade Valentine and steal our prize, the Cauldron. The Cauldron is an artifact that can create infinite phosons. After all we sacrificed, such a relic is rightfully ours. Anger at the fairies' treachery, treacherous deed echoed throughout the country. For the sake of our fallen brethren, we vowed to rise again and punch the fairies. Led by King Odin, we have long awaited our revenge, sharpening our fangs. Princess Griselda and Gwendolyn, the daughters of the late queen, are now skilled Valkyries. The time has come for war. We will wreak our uh, vengeance on the fairies and reclaim our cauldron. This memoir shows the mindset of an Aesir soldier. In the battle that occupied after this note, the Aesir suffered a crushing defeat that ended with the death of the first princess. Cool. That's actually really neat. I like the how it's like with the prelude of Gwendolyn's Tale. Uh, I like how it's like give me a little history thing, in, but it's like I, I see now why I'm, I'm, I'm playing as seemingly like an historian, right? Who's looking back on the deeds and stories of, well, I don't know if it's the past or uh, a fiction or whatever, but do you want to save your current progress? Yes. Okay. Chapter 1, Act 1. The Demon Lord's Castle! Uh, skills. Skill up ready, uh, 20 phosons. Spear and by Griselda. Becomes sharper as it absorbs phosons to drift on the battlefield. Ice shot free. Whoa, we got lots of stuff here. 
Cool. Uh, equipment. Text. Uh, a while. You know, you know, you know what this reminds me of a lot is Final Fantasy Tactics, right? On the main menu, you could go uh, essentially talk to this historian, right? And he would he could tell you about tutorial stuff, but he also tell you about literally like the lore behind uh, events and characters. That's what this really, really reminds me of. Okay, so these have both been in notes. Ooh, recipes! Can I get some good old vanillaware food porn in this game? I fucking better, damn it. We're eating pretty good in uh, 13 Sentinels. Got some yakisoba pan. Uh, story? Oh, okay, these are the cutscenes. Oh, interesting. So hers actually start a good bit from the beginning here. So I wonder who's actually at the very top, what the first event is in the timeline. That's pretty cool. Oh, that's interesting. Return to the attic. Okay, the girl's name's Alice. Return to the attic where Alice is. Um, hello. Princess, we shall regroup with those able to fight. At the moment, I have four soldiers ready. Just say the word. We only have half the troops we started with. Everyone is rushing to their deaths. Interesting, I wonder if the whole... Is, there, is everything voice acted? Oh, princess, hear me out. That spear is a magical weapon called a cipher. The dwarves fashion the crystals out of jewels and use them in the weapons. Thanks, Keith Silverstein. It uses magical elements called fosons and is able to absorb and release them. It will surely lead you to victory. Cool. <laughs> I like that. Did you see the same thing again? Oh yeah, it does. Okay. I think it, you need it. Every, everybody's like voice that. Wow, look at this fucking dude. What? What? Griselda's dead because she rushed ahead of the main forces. It's certainly not because I was late to the battle. Lord Brigan. He may be one of our nation's heroes. But he's kind of a dick. And I hear he acts as he wishes because my father does nothing to stop him. It's funny, I just heard this guy's uh uh, this voice actor in Hunter Hunter. I think he was the he was the rich dude. He was also, I think, the narrator. Uh, okay, can't go back that way. So like a dash button, or I guess this is as fast as I can go. One of the fairies. She was the one who summoned the dragon. Not Dazzle Queen. That monstrous beast. She truly is evil. Dude, this music though, holy fuck. My dear princess. That stone on your spear is a jewel from the netherworld. Did you know that? I do now! Traveling from this world to the netherworld. It's very dangerous, and only one man is able to do it. King Odin. If we can obtain that cauldron, and fabricate our own jewels, Ragnanovel will have no more enemies. Is there a fucking netherworld in Norse mythology? Hello. Princess, that was close. I had heard that the Shadow Knight looked like a demon, but he seemed human to me. Yeah, he seems human when he wasn't all Why juiced up. He, let you go? he spared me. Oh my god, it's a little buddy! She's got an apron Princess on! Princess Gwendolyn, I am worried about you. Please stay strong. Were there cute little bunny ladies in Norse mythology? Thank you, Miris. I shall bring some tea up to your room later. Oh, thank you, little bunny friend. What the hell? I don't remember seeing you anywhere in God of War Ragnarok, ma'am. Come here, talk to Gwendolyn. Talk to your old pal, Gwendy. <laughs> like I can just crash down to her level. I can look up dreamily at the ceiling. Hello there, sir. I'm a traveling vendor who has been allowed to sell in this castle. I see. Is there uh, anything you need? You got any wooden boxes? Wow, you seem to have lots of them. Uh, a mulberry seed. I got 10 bucks. Why the hell am I so... I should be rich as hell. I'm the fucking daughter of the king. Healing tonic. Uh, I'll just hold on to this for now. I don't know if I want to... Probably get too crazy with this. Sell. I guess I can sell my other mulberry. Actually, can I just eat that? I assume every time I, uh, wait, hold on. How do I do it? Uh, uh, oh, this? So I assume that, like, every time I do it, this probably will level me up immediately, right? Yeah, no, it, 
It scales. To the world map. Oh, okay. So it's like a menu thing out here. All right. Destination storming battlefields. Uh, Ringford Force, the fairies, Vulcanon. Wait, can I go to all these places? Capital alleyways? No, I can't. <laughs> I can't go anywhere. Oh, wait. No, no, I can't. Okay. Uh, storming the battlefields. Recommend level one. Damn, I'm not, not strong enough. We're moving out now. Inform the <laughs> troops. I, I walked out the door and realized I forgot all the troops, so I ran back. <laughs> Griselda. Hello there. So you're going to battle in order to win your father's love. Why does that bird sound like me? That's not true. I'm fighting for my kingdom and my own pride. I may fall in battle, but that is a fate all our countrymen face. Don't try to hide the truth from me. You seek death so that you may earn the love you so desperately seek. Quiet! I am but a phantom. I represent your innermost thoughts. I am pathetic. I've never been loved since the day I was born. Giving your life for your father will not make your death worthwhile. Shut up, you dumb bird. You will simply die. You don't know that. Like Griselda died. Stop it. If I sacrifice myself for my duty, father will surely show his love for me. Surely. I mean, Kyle was like, he was kind of like, oh man, your sister died in a really crazy badass way. Oh well, and then he kind of walked out the door, so I don't know about that. Head to the veneer base and recapture the cauldron. Oh, wait, 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 I see a thing. What is that? Uh, it's shining. All right, hit it. Oh, it's a singular coin. Ah, find me some booty. I'm gonna piece of man. You saw me as another guy. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm doing. I think, ow. I will say, getting your guard up seems kind of slow, though. I don't know how, how useful it's going to be. So, okay, so I do get EXP just from beating uh, beating ass, though, which is... That's good. It's not just like I have, I have to eat. I mean, like, one EXP, but it... It is count. Woo! <laughs> Ha ha ha! You can't catch me! Cool. Oh, I got an eight. We see all the enemies reportedly scoring a variety of factors, such as maximum chain attack, damage received in the length of the battle, and so on. Main score you earn a rank between S and D. Aim for higher ranks since they reward more gold. Your current rank will be displayed at the bottom right of the screen during battle. Cool. Okay, a healing tonic and a mulberry. You can hold up to 32 items in your bag. This number will increase as you acquire new bags throughout your journey. Furthermore, certain items such as mulberry seeds are stored separately up to nine. Okay, cool. Might as well have an after, uh, after murder meal here. Mmm. Uh, okay. It's not like anything over here or anything, right? Oh, it just, oh, oh, I loop. Okay, <laughs> whoa, where the fuck am I? How did I do that? Oh, wait. Uh. Ooh. Okay. Map system. I see. Oh, a butterfly! It's butterfliesin. A uh, butterfly has appeared. You can absorb phosons when you're nearby. Give me your shit. Give me all your phosons. Uh, uh. Oh, yeah. Give me that shit. Uh, uh. If I'm playing fucking Dark Souls again, I'm gonna break every- Break all the boxes! Ugh! All the faces! Let's get some shit in there! Oh, shit, don't- don't break the tonic! I don't know if I can or not, but just in case. Look at these pretty-ass backgrounds. Oh my god. I gotta give it to the Vanilla Ore, man. Their- their art style is something else. Ugh. Which I- I guess in a way, it is actually sort of like... 
George Kamatani's own style that are these games, right? And a lot of, I think, the artists that are under him sort of emulate that style in a lot of ways, right? Because I believe that he actually did uh, do the art the artwork for this game. Battle see oh, hello! He <laughs> did Ah! Get out of here. Holy shit. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, so I can like, I can, I can like, I can combo things. What in the, what, what did I just do? I did a thing and I don't know how. Don't break the seat. Are there like fucking like Street Fighter combos or something? Do like a Doken? How'd I do that? I have no idea. Yeah. Did I grab the mulberry thing? I didn't break it, did I? Or, or le did it disappear after a while? Hold on. Oh, I think it did. I think I have to pick it up quickly enough for, or I broke it. I don't know. I was too busy beating ass. Uh, Griselda Spear. The Peerless Spear tipped with a blue cipher with runes inscribed into the grip. It has but wood rifle wielder. Ragnanaval's first princess and arch champion of the Valkyries, Princess Griselda. With her display of the spear's might for the king, Princess Griselda boldly won the right to lead the charge of the Valkyries. For we who have spent so long in the shadows of the men, she is the lodestar that guides us through the night. Her young mother is already among the stars, but I am sure she, was, she must be rejoicing in the heavens. Soon, Princess Gwendolyn will be called upon to support her sister. I hope she's worthy of the task. Memorandum of a Valkyrie of the Ragnaval army. This illustrates their adoration of Griselda. After her death, her sister bore the weight of their expectations. This is really cool, actually. I I'm like, I'm loving this setup here. I like those little, like, addendum notes and stuff. Okay, so I could plant this. And then I gotta do this. How many can I put in there? How many do I need to put in there? I think I, I think I put too many. Come back. Uh, uh. And then I guess have myself a yummies. Cool. So is that okay? That's where I'm supposed to go. Is this? Oh, 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 oh! I see. I see. This rest. And then, okay, so if I keep running to the right here, there actually are different exits. Yeah, this leads to an optional area. I think. Hello! <laughs> Holy shit! She's dead and I'm still killing her! <laughs> Oh god, I don't know what I'm doing. I think I hit my touchpad by accident. Goddamn blue blooded Argonian fairies. Ow, fucker. You dare touch my royal wings? For that you must pay! Ah, ah, no, I'm done. I'm not done beating on her yet. Come on, fuck, get up. Fight me. Fight me, bitch. Thanks for that singular coin. Definitely worth it. Ugh. Cyclone? What the hell's that? Creates a tornado of ice that uh, moves forward. Can I like use this shit in the middle of a fight? Is it freeze time? I haven't actually tried that yet. Like open my menu. And another mulberry. Don't mind if I do. Oh, I can actually see if I keep the map open. Oh, hey. If I keep the map open, I can see myself running in a nice little circular thing here. Oh, hey. Running around the mulberry bush, the monkey chased away. <laughs> you kind of wish I could run faster, though. I, actually, me, I could just... I guess I could just do that. Oh, hey. Oh, maybe I didn't lose it. Did I just, like, knock it away and not realize it? Okay, this is actually pretty effective in getting around. Uh. Oh, wait, what does that say? Whoa, whoa. Where'd it go? Shit, I lost it! It went away! Oh, I can teleport! 
Oh, okay. Cool. Are you a bad guy? Oh, no. Princess Gwendolyn. Hello there. This base is under our control, but the enemy is stronger than we expect. How can you see anything with that on? A deadlock. Hope you didn't drop that, because it's mine now. I assume this also heals me, too. I am here to report that Lord Brigand's troops shall soon arrive. The Astrala good! The General has sent us a message to fight strongly. He's so late. What is he doing? He's giving us the recommendation to not die. Good, good recommendation. Yes, good, good, good thinking. Hello there, fine peddler. I could charge extra since this is a battlefield. This is a battlefield. Very dangerous. I could have nine lives and it still wouldn't be enough. Uh, I'll make you a deal. I'll make you an offer you can't refuse. Oh, sure. I'll take a map. Uh. Oh, there's way more beyond this. Oh, there's a boss over there. Okay, cool. Hello, ma'am. Orders from the king. Abandon the base and assault the enemy with all our troops. Hurry! Send the order to attack to all the units. Orders to the king! Keep doing what you're doing! You're doing good! I love you! Bye! <laughs> By the way, is today the day I'm supposed to pick you up from soccer practice? No? Or was that, was that Griselda? I don't remember anymore. Cypher skills acquiring. Each area contains an item known as a Fozon Prism, which draws out a Cypher's power and creates a new skill. Take the Fozon Prism from the chest. Ugh. Congratulations, you have acquired the Fozon Prism. <laughs> you will acquire a corresponding Cypher skill when taking a Fozon Prism. Uh, okay. Okay, we're going in. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Fozon Boo, you have acquired Ice Shot. As you can see, you will acquire a Cypher skill when you obtain a Fozon Prison. Furthermore, you can use Fozons to raise skill levels, which enhance a skill's efficiency and statistics in this menu screen. This goes to all Cypher skills acquiring. Uh... How do I... How do I use it? Multiple ice shots that chase foes. That sounds neat. Uh, yes, activating! Tell me how to use it. Among the cyber skills, active skills are used uh, from the L1 skill activation. L1, okay. Activating ice shot consumes the PP gauge. You can release PP by absorbing Fozons. Activate, shit, such shortcut. Do I wanna do this? Okay. You can add frequently used cyber skills to the shortcut entry from the skill activation menu with square. Oh, I see, circle, okay. So I guess we'll do that. I guess I have to do it. It's close store for cipher skills activating. Mid off stage. I'm gonna take that, and I'm gonna take that. Oh. Uh, uh. uh freeze me with the tornado of ice. Wait, what? What are you talking about? Oh, this. Uh, oh, and it does. It does freeze the battle. Okay, good. Hey, fucker. Have a taste of this. Uh, and also, this. Uh, hey, do it again. Uh, do it again. Uh, fuck it. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, God, you have a lot of health. A lot more health than I realized. Where'd you go? Oh god, Dizzy, you'll be unable to move at all for a set uh, amount of time. Rapidly press the bu directional buttons and action buttons to hasten the healing process. <laughs> Eat this. Ugh. Fucking stay frosty, bitch. Here, wait, 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 do it again. I promise you'd be shielding when I when he's doing that. Uh. <laughs> I was like, where'd he go? Wait. Okay, didn't give a fuck. Wow, that really that went right through my guard, too? Jesus, I guess I just have to jump. Ugh. Wait, you're still alive? Oh, God! Oh, Jesus Christ, I thought you were dead! I thought it was the last one! 
Don't forget, I also have a dodge roll. Uh, uh. Ha! Uh. Uh. Eat this. Uh. Give me your foes on. Oh, I still had an S rank? Hell yeah! I'm shocked. <laughs> Can I got my ass beat. Excavation guide. By order of King Odin, we have dwarves have formed exploration teams to find and unearth hidden treasures around the world. Currently, we are tasked with finding foes on prisons, rare ones, rich in magic. For the sake of the teams that may follow our footsteps, I leave this guide. Our monarch expects much of us. We cannot fail him. One, search everything. Many treasures are hidden in place you cannot see. You won't find them just walking aimlessly. Be vigilant and explore everywhere within your sight. Follow back roads and find keys to unlock doors. No matter where you go, keep a careful watch. Okay. Oh, look, I found some. I'm so good at this. Star, star pendant. Equip up to three from uh, the bag or from within the pause menu. Equipment. Increase my HP a bit and a little bit more defense. Cool. Oh, yeah. Okay, I see. A spirit trusted from Griselda, so it becomes sharper as it absorbs. So I increase the maximum attack and PP by putting some foes on in this. Ugh. Okay. This one takes 25. Ice shot count up. Cool. Oh, I can just go right to base too from the menu here. That's nice. Okay, so... And it keeps track of all my ranks too. That's... That's handy. So should I actually like run around each of these areas then to be like, keep an eye out for stuff on the ground? Hello. Ooh, hey. My curiosity has rewarded me. Oh, hey. Oh, it's just another coin. I'm assuming that some of these will like give me like, like buried treasure. Is that what, I don't know if that's what the tours were talking about or if they just meant yeah, hey, if you you look on the ground, so I will find a giant chest just sitting there. You don't pick up these chests. These are mine. These are my chests. You don't get them. Uh, uh. Eat this. Uh. Oh, God. Oh, God. Holy shit. Oh, my God. Oh, that's true. Muso game. Combo, combo, combo breaker. Combo breaker. Give me that, give me that. Hey, all right, I'll take it. Uh, cultivating fruit. The foes not absorbing plants of Arion can sprout to even in even the most desolate of lands. Theirs is the fruit of life, uh, giving vitality to those who partake. It is the secret to longevity. If you wish to reap the benefits of the fruit, you need only find seeds and grow them for yourself. The more nutritious the fruit, the more phosons it will require. Recommended for beginners, the mulberry bears two fruits using minimal phosons while the Muggle bears fruit and a seed. Once you are used to the process, you can try grapes, which increase health, and apples, which are quite popular ingredients for snacks. Okay. All sounds very nice. Volcano! Cool. It's, uh, I probably should be planting some more things. I think I have a few seeds at this point. So I can plant in bulk, too. That's nice. Uh. Oh, shit. I didn't mean to. Well, whatever. So throw that in there. Eight. Oh, it even tells me how many, how many phosons I need. That's convenient. So just throw this shit out here. Give me your mulberries. <laughs> Teabag the shit out of these. <laughs> okay, now eat eat all of them. Oops. Oh wait, I gotta. I have to keep hitting square for it to to go in the thing here. So okay. Uh, 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 uh. Consume, Gwendolyn. <laughs> Um, man, I'm so hungry. Ugh. All this murdering and pillaging is really built up an appetite. Like she burped there at the end. Try to repress it. Holy shit, look at that one area down below. Let's go get fucked up. Oh, wait, actually, let's check, let me check this one. What's this one? Uh. Anybody here? 
Whoa. Oh, hey. Secrets. Oh. Hey. That's cool. Does it, is it always the same or? Okay, yeah. It seems like it automatically will pick the next skill or something. You require a big dive or drive. You require a cypher skill and contain it that consumes POW. POW will automatically, will automatically accumulate over time. Multi-hit dash attack pierces through foes. Yeah, beak, beak drive. Oh, that's a little uh, uh, bar above my health bar. Oh, yeah, I got you. So what does it look like? Ooh, cool. Okay, given, that's a, given that that is a sideways attack, let's put on that thing. All right, it's gonna be fucked up. Oh, Jesus Christ, another Miss Boss. Hey, how's it going? Check out me, is there a lineup of explosive flame? Okay, that sounds cool. Eat this. Arrgh! Here, I have a taste of my new skill. Arrgh! Oh my God, I can chain it back to back. Here, I'll help you put that fire out. Oh wait, no, I can't, Never mind. I'm on a PP. Oh, hey, another one. Do it again. Uh. Ah! Oh my god, mother of mercy! Burn in the depths of hell, you motherfuckers. <laughs> You're about to fucking demon die it! <laughs> I'm so angry! Ow, fuck, ow, ow! Oh, Jesus Christ, I got mashed my buttons! Okay, eat this! Sideways! Do it again! Sideways! Sideways! Okay, yeah, I see my power just kind of refills over time. So that one, that one I can use a bit more frequently, I'd say. Where'd the horse go? Did I kill him? No, he's not dead. See, see, people are. Where'd he go? Oh, there you are. Sorry, I was looking for you. Eat that. Stay frosty, horse man. Uh. Fucking teabag the shit out of you, horse. Uh. Yeah, give me the S rank, bitch. Boosh. I'm a fucking god. What did I just get? Oh, a luck stone. Item drop rate multiplies by 1.3 and more t and more health. That sounds very nice. Oh wait, no, 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 no. It's just just that. I see. I, I, I thought when I was looking, when I was highlighting, it was showing me the, yeah, I see that the item specific thing is in the very bottom center. And then the one on the left is what I have uh, currently on me. I see. Cool. Oh, I lived. I didn't die. That's good. Although I did lose a lot of health. I probably should drink one of these. Actually, I probably don't need to do that. I think there's a, there's a rest area right over here and that'll just heal me automatically, right? Does this heal me? Oh, here we go. You more between checkpoints that you have passed by from the touchpad map area. Yeah. Oh, this actually doesn't. He this actually does not heal me. Never mind. I guess maybe I do want to drink one of these. Glug glug glug. Oh, hey, butterfly! Come here, butterfly. Give me your foes on. I'm gonna suck that butterfly up. I don't give a shit. Hello there, small shrew. I'm neutral in this war. I'm just a businessman. In this bloodstained land, the stakes are high, but the profits are higher. Mm, the profits are higher. You're neutral in this war? Well, speak for yourself, bitch. Fucking slide into his ass. Uh, 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 uh. Damn, you're too short. Uh, what you got for me? Uh, ooh, a shield ring. I don't got that. Five, wait, what does that say? 5% chance to nullify damage taken? Cool. That sounds helpful. <laughs> I like to just throw it on the ground. Here, you pick it up yourself, bitch. You try to stab me. I don't take kindly to that. And give me a little more defense, too. I'll take it. Okay. Uh, boss battle now. Powerful enemy awaits you ahead. For recommend you save before proceeding. Oh, okay. No, 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 hold on. You're gonna get fucked up. Better save your game, bitch. Whoa, hello. 
Booba Butterfly! I have a report, Your Highness. The Aesir have launched an all-out assault. They are attacking our headquarters with all their soldiers. The Paladins fight valiantly, but tis only a matter of time till they are overrun. By my breast! Odin, I see he risks his own life with this strategy of his. Here are your orders. Quickly, call back the troops from the front line and attack them from behind. Use everything we have. Attack from both sides and annihilate them. See you, bitch. Our king is bestowed with divine grace. Prepare yourself, queen of the ghosts. I, King Odin's daughter Gwendolyn, shall be the one to take your life. So, you call me a ghost? The Demon Lord's daughter is bold indeed. <laughs> Uh-oh. It seems that my reinforcements have arrived. It's about time, sorcerer. Whoa. Your Majesty, my sincerest apologies for my tardiness. Look at his big ass fingers. Belial, my faithful dragon. Wait, who am I fighting? Am I fighting you or fighting her? Let us put this to the Fight test. a dragon? Do you still dare to speak so impudently before my mighty dragon? Then the dragon comes out, he summons his own dragon. He's like, all right, hold on a second. Ah! Come at me, bitch. Fine, be that way. I'll fight your stupid dragon. Raging dragon. Belial. Or Belial. Or Fire it. Eat this. Ugh. Hope you're not waiting. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus Christ. Fucking ball. What was that? Spat some metal at me? Oh, I can hit back at him. Cool. Ugh, 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 ugh. And also eat this. Ugh. Ha! Blocked it. Ugh, 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 ugh. Woo! 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 Oh, I'll take that healing potion. Thank you. Ugh. Ugh. Wait, 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 wait. Hit it. Oh, well, oh, shit. No, no. No, fuck it. Damn it. Starting in front of it to hit it back at you. Oh, God. Oh, God. You're still going. <laughs> you missed, bitch. Ugh. Ugh. Uh oh. Oh god. Oh Jesus Christ! Yeah, I just got bored! Don't you bore me, I bore you! Dumb dragon! Ooh, a toxin! Here, I'm gonna try that out. Uh crazy low a uh, low mist that damages the poison. Sounds good. Oh shit, I gotta really watch out for that. Come on, die, you dumb dragon! Level up! Woo! Damn, I didn't get a chance to teabag it. Assert my dominance. Oh man, daddy over here walking. King Odin, please rejoice. The enemies are retreating. It seems that it is finally over. He's like, oh my god, I'm so fucking thick. Have brigands troops hunt down any remaining enemy forces? My legs are all jacked. Go, inform all our soldiers of our victory. Sound the horn and allow them to celebrate our glory. Our glory! Now, leave me. King Odin. Yes, there it is. The crystallization cauldron. What the fuck is that? I don't recall anything like this in North, Norse mythology. We're kind of techno-y there. 
The fairies have kept it hidden for so long. Oh. What in the hell? Do you see this mysterious light? This thing breathing? No, it is finally mine. This power will grant me victory in any battle. Oh man, is my dad gonna end up being a psycho? What's happening? To be fair, Odin was kind of a psycho in Ragnarok. Oh no, what happened to the glow? The cauldron's light has gone out. A lot of batteries. Do you know where my father, where I may find the king? The king is with the crystallization cauldron. What? Hello. Who goes there? What are you doing here? New waifu acquired. These stupid battles all over again. The cauldron is a source of disaster. I will not allow the crystallization cauldron to be used any further. Not by you, nor by the queen of the fairies. Wait! Come back, pretty lady! Foes on prism. Interesting. Required needle strike. Series of furious stabs that are thrust forward. Thrusting! Uh, let me power up my eye shot here. And also, my beak, my beak drive. That was fun. Wish to save, yes. Cross save? What is that? Oh, oh, that's neat. I guess from, like, various versions or from consoles or something? That's convenient. Cool. That technology is so advanced we can't make it work. That witch from the forest must have put the cauldron's fire out. Now you're trapped, witch. How did the witch stop the cauldron? That was the forest witch? If I'd known, I wouldn't have let her go. Can I go see my dad? Where is he? Look, I can. Holy shit, dude, where were you? Were you even in that last fight? The witch is a refugee from a fallen enemy nation. It's the king's fault she's still alive. Lord Brigan, please refrain from making such critical remarks in front of the soldiers. You big thick dickhead. I cannot still my tongue in the face of weakness. <laughs> Whatever, dude. Princess, please. May I ask that the king retract the marriage he arranged for me? I can still fight. I would rather die fighting than be subservient. I would like to help, but this is the law. Just kill your husband, all right? Problem solved. Valkyries that cannot fight are wed to brave warriors to bear brave children. Babies everywhere! They are stripped of their pride and honor and live under a man's thumb. Damn. What did you say about this bunny mama? Princess Gwendolyn, if that horrible cauldron never existed, then this bloodshed would not happen. Hold your tongue. My father is never wrong in his tactics. Oh. Hold your tongue, wench! Ah! <laughs> Damn. We were very nice to her earlier, and so we're like, shut the fuck up, you dumb bunny bitch! <laughs> wow. Okay. Ooh. Interesting. Yeah, so Mario, I, I'm, I'm sure, I'm sure Odin is totally gonna be not a piece of shit in this. Oh, hey, look, it's the bird that was talking smack to me earlier. Fucking just choke the shit out of my head. <laughs> That's right, say some more shit about me, bitch. Say it again. The <laughs> buddy's like, oh, wow, Princess Quinlan, she's a little uh, on edge today. Shut up, maggot. Ah! Was the Shadow Knight there? He killed many of our troops. I heard that he pledged his soul to death and traded his life for demonic powers. Cool. All I know is that I hope I never meet him on the battlefield. Was the Shadow Knight there? He can't- I heard- You won the- I thought I could make a profit if you were all celebrating. Hell yeah, give me some shit, man. Anything good? I just got the same shit everybody else got. More mulberries and stuff. Can I grow mulberries inside my own palace here? Just gonna dig it into the fucking concrete. Well, all right, guys. I think this is probably a good spot to end things here for now, but, uh... This is really cool. I'm actually already enjoying this a lot so far. I, uh, 
I am look forward to seeing all these different scenarios, too. I, I wonder if it'll be like, will I get to a point where I have to stop and then I switch to another scenario and then continue and then something like that? Or can I play like one scenario all the way to the end and then stop doing the other one? I mean, at the, it, at the beginning there, it seemed like I can only, I can only access hers. So uh, I don't know. I'll be curious to see how the game sort of ends up uh, handling that here. But anyway, guys, I hope you all enjoyed this episode and are looking forward to this LP. If you are, please do leave a like and a favorite. It really does help me out. And subscribe if you're not ready to become a picky penguin aboard the SLP, where the days are always sunny and the vids are always funny. Yeah, I'm, I'm really looking forward to playing more of this. Oh my God, I'm so fucking pretty. And by the end of this, I'm probably gonna have at least like five fucking Odin Seer statues lined up behind me, I swear to God. Uh, but anyway, guys, as always, till next time, Stay classy!